Welcome to Let's Play Solitaire, and uh, thanks for watching. Today we're going to tackle a random game, and uh, not going to edit it at all. I'm going to try to uh, do the best I can to explain what I'm thinking. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and get started, and uh, we'll see what random stuff we get. First things first, I'd like to go for these columns right here. It looks like we have a few moves. We can move this eight. We'll move that. And uh, we can move this queen here. Now we got a little bit of a decision. We may take one, none, or either. We've got two kings. We're going to try the king of clubs first. See what happens. And we'll use the undo feature because nothing happens there. We should remember there is a six of diamonds under that. Uh, that six of diamonds would be valuable if we found a black five because then we could move this four over to here. So something to keep in mind. Let's try the king of hearts. And that gives us another king. So what we essentially need to do is figure out a way to open up more of these columns. Again, we're going to table this decision for now. Let's see what we have in the draw pile. This is a really good card to start off. Now, I think a lot of times people will make the mistake of playing this card right away. No, 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 no. Don't want to do that. We're going to save this as insurance for later so we can move some cards around that we may not be able to get at uh, should we have played this. Uh, this six is interesting, too, because remember there is a six, red six underneath this king already. So that's not does not bode, bode great for us, but uh, we'll see what we can do here. These three could be played, um, but we're going to hold off on it. We're going to, again, save it uh, as insurance. And we'll see what we get in the back of this draw pile if there's anything to play. There's a seven. We can play that. That's good. There's a six we can play, I believe. Uh, one caveat here. If you play a card out of the back of the draw pile, such as a six, and you find a, let's say, six of clubs in the front of the draw pile, you're going to want to undo that move and probably play the other six probably 90 to 95 percent of the time so we're going to play the six here we'll play this deuce of clubs and uh yeah we'll just see if we can figure out a way to open up one of these columns oh wait i missed a move there's a reason we played the six of clubs or six of spades that's because you know there's five of diamonds we need to open up that column so we got that there and there's another eight so that's an interesting card and unfortunately, uh, one of the things we cannot do is we cannot swap this eight for the eight of clubs because we had to get the eight of, we had to get, have the eight of clubs there to get to the five of diamonds to move it. So that is not necessarily very good for us unless we figure out a way to get another red nine. And, you know, because this is a big column right here. This is going to be a very important part to solving this if we can get it done. So let's go through again. Uh, insurance card and let's see what else we can do here three of clubs we can play we'll play that uh, the eight of hearts will drop next time we can't play that five of clubs will drop we can't play that we could use a jack if we can find a jack that would well not not with this wrong jack wrong jack okay let's go through again here and see what we have I think we're going to be playing that insurance card. Yeah, we're going to be playing that insurance card right now. So what we're going to do, of course, is play this Ace of Hearts. And then next time around, we're going to play this Four of Spades uh, right here. We'll move the Three of Diamonds there, and we'll see if we have another move. And then we'll, yeah, we'll just see what we got here. Because remember, this King has a Six under it. And, uh, yeah, we need it. Oh, we need to. Oh, there it is. That's the black five. We're going to play that route. So we're going to play the four spades next time. The time after that, we're going to play the black five over to here. That'll allow us to move this four here, and we'll just keep our fingers crossed that there's more moves left. So that's the plan anyway. Going through here. Okay, there it is, the four of spades gonna play it next time around we'll play the five of spades I'm going through again and let's just double check and make sure there's no other moves here before we play the five of spades there are none okay so this is where this is the game right here i think so we're gonna play this king here's the five and keep our fingers crossed well we got the three we can move to so if these we can make some progress with these two uh, columns we're good the th either the three or the four we're gonna find out 
There's a three of diamonds. Okay, that's a seven. That's a good card. We can move this six over here. Wrong, Jack. We want the red one. We want the red one. Okay, but uh, yeah, let's see here. We're going to move this four. There's the red queen. Oh, that's a good card. That's a very good card. We're going to move this queen over to here. Open up that column. Nine is not the best, but not the worst card. I think there is an eight here. I don't know if we can get to it. And, of course, there's the jack. We can move over. Remember, there's a king underneath this, so I don't know if it has a ton of value. Now, if there was a queen we can bring down, then maybe. But uh, we already got a red king down as well. So we're going to hold off and get one. Uh, but, yeah, we just got to figure out some moves. Uh, let's see. There's a queen. We can always go back to this queen, I believe. Yeah, we're going to hold off on that. We are going to play this 10. This very important card here. Because it allows us to move this 9 and open up the column. A 4 of diamonds. Okay. That could put us at a halt. But we need to, you know, figure out how to get some more of these cards out of the way. So let's uh, just keep chugging forward here. And the good news is now this 8 of diamonds is our insurance card. It'll allow us to open up this uh, seven column right here. So we'll see what else is behind it first. Again, we're not going to play this eight. We're gonna... But the good news is this uh, jack of diamonds will drop, and then we can put it here, which also means we can finally play that uh, ten, I believe. There's a black ten right there. Okay. So the plan is going to be to play this eight of diamonds. Next time around, this jack will drop. And then we'll play the 10 below that. And then we can move the this 9 below the black 10 on this spot right here. And then open up that column. So in the meantime, we're going to open up this column with the 7 of clubs. And that gives us the 3 of spades, which we can move under either one of these 4s. We're going to move it under, under the 4 of diamonds. That's a good card. Uh, 7 of hearts, we can move here and open up that column. And there is a four of clubs, which I believe we can put up top right now. So that's also good because that opens up the slot for the king. If you remember earlier, there's a king underneath this. So we're going to play this king. We're going to play this king, and we're going to open up the column. That's a ten. That's not really what we want to see, but... Uh, we're just going to go through and uh, play what we can. We can play this five of clubs. We can play this queen. We can play this six of clubs. I th think we're going to go... We'll just go up here for now. I don't think there's another move with that, so let's see what we have. Oh, no, there is a move. Going to put the six of clubs down here. Five of hearts goes here. We really want to bring down this nine of uh, spades because that will allow us to bring down this other eight and do some more stuff with the draw pile and the, getting one of these columns open. So there's the ten. We're going to play this the next time around. The seven can be played too. Uh, but yeah, we'll see. We're going to play this. and Oh boy, that's a, that's a lot of options here. We could play this ten instead. Usually this 10 is more valuable, so that may be the route we go. Uh, we can't play the 6. Let's see what else we can play. Okay, so that's what we have right there. So, uh, let's play. Here we go. There's the jack. There is the 10. Going to move the 9. And we can move the spade. I think... But I think what we'd like to do is... See, this is where it gets tricky. I really would like to move this 8 down. Oh, no, we can move this 8 the other way. So we'll just play the ace of spades, two of spades. We won't play the three of spades. So two of diamonds goes down here. We move the 8. And uh, we still haven't figured out. That's the other option there. We need to figure out how to move one of these other ones around here. So the seven of spades, if we could bring it down, that would be a decent to start. Oh boy. 
This is interesting. We're going to have to back this up and figure something out here. What we would need to do, I think, is we need to bring the seven of spades down. Okay, we have that. But we need to be able to bring the six of hearts down. We don't have that. Because if we can bring the six of hearts down, we can bring this five of clubs down. We can move this four of diamonds underneath it and open up that column. And I think that's going to be what we're going to need to do. Again, this eight of spades was a big problem for us because the eight of clubs, well, you know, you just can't... Uh, you have to you have to wait you have to play the eight of clubs first because there's no other choice there i believe so gonna go through again here and play a little bit differently this time so here's the we're gonna bring down this two we're gonna bring down the eight and then i think we should get the seven here there's the seven of spades okay that's a different sequence but that's what we want to do we want to get this four open so the next time around what's going to happen is there's going to be a jack we're going to play that we're not going to play this 10 this six will be the first card we see so there's the six we play that we bring down the five and now the four goes here and that is the ace of diamonds i'm excited because that that is a good card that'll allow us to get diamonds up we could potentially play diamonds and clubs and we could use that to maybe open up this eight right here and get it up top. Well, not get it up top, but if we can get the eight of clubs up top right there, then we can move the eight of spades over and open up that column. So that's going to be the goal here. So let's move this ten of uh, clubs right here. And we're going to start moving uh, cards up. Again, we're not going to play any of these. We're not going to click on this yet, but we're going to move ace of diamonds up, two of diamonds up, three of diamonds up. And now if you see here, there's a, a four hearts and four diamonds. Well, if you're thinking right here, you'll notice there's the three of spades that needs to be moved over. We're going to do that. Four diamonds up top. Okay. Making some progress here. We can put the five of clubs up to the foundation pile. Now, if you'll notice, there's a five of diamonds and a five of hearts. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to move the four of spades under the five of hearts right there okay so the five of diamonds can go up top now we're looking at the six of clubs and the six of spades i'm pretty sure you can guess what i'm going to do next that's right five of hearts here and six of clubs up top now we need to get to the eight that's our goal here so the next two cards we're going to want are diamonds we have two hearts six of hearts seven of hearts so what we're going to do is move this five of spades here and the six of spades over here. Now we can move the six of diamonds, seven of diamonds up. More importantly, we can move the seven of clubs and eight of clubs up top. Now we have two choices. We can either move this nine over here or actually we don't. Yeah, let's see here. We're going to move this eight of diamonds here up top. We'll move this nine of diamonds there. There, we get the ace of spades. That's good. We can move the two of spades, three of spades, four of spades. But that's as far as we go because we don't have the two of hearts anywhere. But the good news is we can still move this eight of spades right here. Now, the other alternative uh, that I'm looking at here would be to play this nine of clubs up. Play the nine of diamonds. Move this card over here and play the ten of diamonds. That gives us three of hearts, which gets us nowhere. So we're going to undo that. And we're going to keep our fingers crossed that there is a good card underneath this eight of spades. You know, five of spades, two of hearts. We don't know yet. Oh, no, five of spades we can't have. We want a two of hearts. Oh, that'll work. Jack of hearts. Okay, I'm going to play that right there. Here's a card we want to see. That's a good card for us in many ways. Uh, we're going to take the easiest way to solve that. We're going to put the spade here and then move the nine over. There's There was another play, of course. That is not a good card for us at all. But I think there is a way to get that card out of there. And I'm just uh, racking my brain here. Okay. 
First thing we're going to do is we're going to go back to those tactics I used earlier. You see the nine of diamonds and the nine of hearts. We're going to move the eight of spades. So nine of diamonds up top. Okay. Ten of clubs up top. Now we're going to take the nine of spades, shift it here. And I think you see the path, but if you don't, you're going to see it very shortly. Ten of diamonds up, jack of diamonds up, queen of diamonds up. There's the king. And, of course, uh, we're just going to move this queen of diamonds down and then click on solve. And uh, we got it done. So that was a little bit of fun. Got to tackle a random game and, of course, figured out a way to solve it. And, of course, that is going to wrap this up. I am signing out. I would like to thank you for watching and uh, wish you good luck. As always, if you want more specific tips, uh, try checking out the Solitaire Complete Tip Guide if you have not already. I've got a lot of stuff in there. So, once again, thank you for watching and...